looking at the ARTS test system and operating it to test the APG66 antenna. Now we see the operator place the antenna onto the cooling base. Just like the ECS system in the F16, uh, cooling is provided to the unit such that it operates as it would as provided in the T-Spec. We see this uh, yoke being put on the plate of the antenna. It is there in order to uh, provide feedback for positioning and pointing of the system. Now that the cables have been hooked up to the unit, from the connectors on the LRU to the interface test adapter, we move on to running the test. Specifics here provide not just the part number, but also the serial number, the time things are being run, and the hours on the unit, so that we know when this test was operated for traceability purposes. Now that uh, we are moving on to the actual running of the test, there are different requirements for different tests. Some of them require the antenna to be aligned with precision foresight pins, and then there's a difference taken later on to know what the electronic to the mechanical alignment actually are. Each one of these in order to maintain safety, and not just for the operator, but also for the LRU itself, prompts and stops are put in at each sequence. When, the, when changes in or out of the boresight pins are required. Whether for this unit or other assets that you may have, check us out at duotechservices.com, look at our art selection page, what we have as far as test equipment that we have test established for, and we'd be happy to uh, put together a custom test solution for you. Check us out, duotechservices.com, follow us on Twitter.